what I drink when I'm thirsty. I just drink this here hose water. That's fresh. Welcome to Gill Ranch. I have a nice big gun. Archery target. And you've all seen this bow. This is my old bow. I I love this bow. But there comes a time when you just want new gear. And then I got this guy. And I'm like, move out of the way, little bow. Move out of the way. This bow is so much better. It's got nice sights that I finally learned how to use. I, I couldn't figure out how to use the one before and the other one. But I couldn't. But I can use these. Mostly because I was taught now. This one requires a um, trigger, archery trigger. So I have that. I have my little um, hip quiver like in the movie Brave. Ah. This is a stabilizer for I don't know what. So, yeah. I absolutely love this bow. Let's go shoot stuff with it. I'm gonna shoot this target. I have some eggs. I'm gonna try and shoot some eggs too. And, yeah. My brother is also going to be shooting too. And he is holding the camera right now. He's gonna be shooting my old bow. He's going to be shooting too. Right, Joseph? Yep. You looking forward to the shoulder ache of you shooting a bow and arrow? Sure. You looking forward to it? Not really. Yeah. Me neither, but get a lot of practice in with that bow. You'll do just fine. So I'm going to go set up this target. Set up our targets, and I'm going to try and get some slow-mo with both of us shooting our bows at the same time and releasing at the same time. Jasmine, hello. Ziga, hello. He obviously cares absolutely nothing whatsoever for the camera. He's just like, I'm eating my hay. Who gives a crap about the rest of the world?
and the hunter draws his bow and he's silently waiting for his prey. He smoked it. He's retrieving another arrow from his quiver to have a second shot at bringing down his prey. He is drawing. He's aiming. And he fires. And he hits. And Zeke is gnawing on the string. Zeke, what are you doing? Uh, now you have to be on camera. You have to be on camera now, Zeke. Hi, Zeke. Okay, this is what my goat does every single time I want to go sheep. Hi, so I'm going to go and hold a little bit low. Okay. Perfect. Three shots. Um, I'm going to go for a center bullseye here. Center bullseye. That's a good center bullseye hit. I'm going to go top left. Hit. Top left bullseye. Okay, that's what it. In bullseye again, that one's stubborn. Okay, I'm going to it. Okay, I'm going top right. Top middle. Mm. All right, I'm going center bullseye again. Mm. All right, good. I was aiming for this one when I hit the dead center there, and I was aiming for this one when I hit the dead when I hit about three inches low. But I was also holding a little bit low as well. This one, I don't know why it went right, and this one I was aiming right here, and it went right there. I don't know why I'm not so consistent. Probably because that bow has a ridiculous amount of poundage, like 48 pound draw. And it's ridiculously hard to pull back, so I get really shaky when I am trying to hold it back. Okay. And these arrows really stick in there pretty good. They don't stick out the back, so... That's good. Now, after I'm done gathering these arrows, let's start breaking stuff with this thing. That won't break the arrows. Okay, I don't know if you'll be able to see that egg over there, but that's about 10 yards out, I don't know. 
Let's see if same distance my bow is sighted in it. So I'm going to see if I can shoot that egg. Okay, that was close. A little bit high left. Like just barely missing. Shot two. Okay, that was high. I think. So I can tell. Yeah, it's definitely high. That one was right. Drop the egg, so we're gonna reset. Okay, second quiver. I'm going for that egg. I'm gonna see if I can break it. I've never, ever, ever shot an egg with a bow and arrow before, so if I do, this will be a first. No pressure. No pressure, and I can way right on that one. Alright, that was a bit left. Okay. That would have been a great shot if I was aiming to the top left corner. Yes! Let's go inspect the damage. 